This is Kevin G for presenting Cinderella. And there was a gentleman who took for his second wife the proudest and haughtiest woman that was ever seen. She had two daughters who were just like her in every way, bad disposition and all. The husband had a young daughter of his own, but she was sweet and good. She took after her mother who had been the best in the world. The marriage ceremony was hardly over when the stepmother's temper flared up. She could not abide this young girl, whose goodness made her own daughter seem more hateful than ever. She gave her the vilest household tasks. It was Cinderella who scored the pots and scrubbed the sta stairs. Cinderella who polished the bedchamber of Madame and also those of her daughters. Cinderella slept on a wretched straw pallet in a miserable garret away up on the top of the house. Her sisters lay on beds of the latest fashion in fine chambers and lace floors and great mirrors in which they would admire themselves from the top of their silly heads to the bottom of their feet. The poor girl put up with everything. They dared not complain, even to her father. He would only have scolded her because, alas, he was tied hand and foot to his wife's apron string. When her work was done, Cinderella would creep to the chimney corner and sit there in the ashes, earning for herself the nickname Cinder Seed. But her younger stepsister, who was not quite so rude as the elder, gave her the name of Cinderella, and Cinderella she was. In spite of her rags, however, Cinderella was a hundred times more beautiful than her sisters, for all their fine clothes. Now it happened that the king's son was to give a ball. He invited everyone who was anyone, including our two young misses, for they're quite, quite a figure in the land. They were delighted with themselves, busy as you please, choosing their costumes and headdresses to go with them. More work for Cinderella, for it was she who searched their linen and puffed their ruffles. Chitter chatter of nothing from morning to night, but what they want, what they would wear, and how they would look. I announced the elder shall wear my cherry velvet with my English trim. <coughs> As for me, said the younger, I have nothing but my usual petticoat, but to make up for that, I shall wear my cloak of flowered gold and my diamond circlet, which is not to be sneezed at either. Hi, two best hairdresser to pile their curls into two horns. None but the best beauty patches would do. They called in Cinderella to ask for her advice, for she had very good taste in these matters. Cinderella gave them the best advice. Best advice. Give up. Give up. No. <laughs> in the world, and even offered to dress their hair, which of course what was really was what they really wanted in the first place. Sorry. While she was working over them, they would say to her, Cinderella, now wouldn't you like to go to the ball? Do you guys want to oh, say that? Oh, you're making fun of me. A ball is not for such as I. You are right, Cinderella, at a ball. How people would laugh. They laughed at themselves at the very thought. Someone else would have made nests for their heads, but not Cinderella. She was good. She dressed them perfectly. The two sisters were in such a twitter of excitement that for two days they hardly took time to eat. They strained and snapped a dozen corset strings, pulling them too tight in order to shrink their weight. All day long they paraded in front of the looking glass. At last, the happy day arrived. They departed, and Cinderella followed them with her eyes as long as she could. When she could no longer make them out, she began to cry. No, I did not. Are you going to cry? It was all no. in tears that her godmother found her. Are you going to cry, Emily? You have to fake cry for the camera. Fake cry. I don't know, I can. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's about to hit me. my child. I wish, oh, I wish Cinderella was so choked with tears that she could not get her words out. Now Cinderella's godmother was really a fairy. She said to her, you wish you could go to the ball? Is, is it not so? Oh, yes, sighed, sighed Cinderella. Well, just be a good girl, said her godmother. I'll see that you go. She took Cinderella into her chamber and said, now go into the garden and bring me a big pumpkin. <laughs> Cinderella ran to look for the most beautiful pumpkin <laughs> she could find and carried it back to her godmother. 
How on earth could a pumpkin take her to the ball? Cinderella could not guess. Her godmother scooped the pumpkin all out, leaving only the rind. Then she touched it with her wand, and just like that, the pumpkin turned into a beautiful coach, glided with pure gold. Whoa. Whoa, Cinderella, stand up. Here you got it. The princess about. About this guy. Okay. <laughs> that is so yeah. good. It's the horse and carriage, the magical one that is very oh. nice made for Cinderella. Just shoot that now. Woohoo! Shoot that now. Ready? Get it out! Yeah. 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 I am the prince. Yeah, right. you... no. Cinderella met a Cinderella Stepsisters? Okay, you ready? Oh. Here you go. 